Before beginning with the joint mobilization techniques for the upper extremity, it's important to have an understanding of the kinematics, the joint motions of convex and concave bones relative to each other. If we look at my right hand and my left hand representing the two shaped bones, this is a convex surface, this is a concave surface. For example, this might be the head of the humerus, this might be the glenoid fossa of the scapula. There are three types of fundamental joint motions. They are a rolling, also called a rocking, a glide, also called a slide, and a spinning. These three fundamental motions underpin all joint motions that we describe, whether they are axial or non-axial motions. The concept of joint mobilization, therefore, is if this convex surface bone starts to move on the concave surface bone, if it only rolls, it will keep rolling until it rolls out of the joint socket. It's important to keep the center of the convex surface on the center of the concave surface. This concept is called centration. Therefore, when we roll, we need to accompany the roll with a glide. For convex motion on concave, whenever we roll in one direction, we have to glide back in the opposite direction. The other way around, if a concave surface is moving on a convex surface, when it rolls in one direction, we need to have glide in the same direction to keep the center of the bones adjacent to each other in the joint. Therefore, with joint mobilization, what we very often look to do is to see if there is a loss of mobility of the glide motion that would therefore stop the axial motion of the bone entirely. Therefore, a major principle of joint mobilization is to make sure that a joint has the proper glide motion. If the glide motion is lost, the overall axial motion of the joint can be lost.